So hello and welcome back to another work video. Why am I wearing a suit? Well, all will be revealed in just a second. So if you hadn't guessed from the title and the attire, this is a video for the gentleman, which I'm calling Gentleman's Jewelry, just because I can. And so what is this about? Well, it's all about these little guys. Let's focus up on that one. You got this, Travis. Make them wait for it. Boom. It's all about these little guys. Tie slides. So I've been threatening to make some more tie slides for a while. It's actually been quite a long time, but I finally got around to them. Aluminium and silver to give me the nice texture before I ramble on too much. Roll through the pictures. There we are guys, hope you really enjoyed the look of those. They are going to be for sale on my Etsy page. The link is in the description and down below to my shop. And so, why did I have to make this video wearing a suit? Well, I didn't have to. What I thought I'd do is give you a little tutorial as well on where you should wear a tie slide. I frankly think there's only one rule to wearing a tie slide. Okay, that, let's just get that. There are two rules to wearing a tie slide. First, you need a tie. Second, you can wear it wherever you want really. Um, people get hung up too much on, ooh, this should be worn here, or you know, you should have your tie done up in a Windsor or a half Windsor or some trying, you know, whatever you want, it works for you. I've seen people wear them really high up, don't know why. I've seen people in restaurants wear them really low down, and so when you bend over, the tie doesn't dip in your food as they're serving it to you. That won't make sense. However, personally, I tend to wear them roughly about a third of the way down. Usually, almost in line with my nipples. Don't know why that's important, but let's have a quick look. So, and they literally just slide on like that. You know, make sure it's straight and you're good to go. I like wearing them here because if I bend over, as you can see, it still stops it, my tie from getting right in the way. It would be sort of down there normally. And so if I'm leaning over, it's not gonna get in the way of me writing or anything like that. Another reason I like wearing it here is it kind of cuts your tie up into a rule of thirds. You can't quite see, I can't back up too far. So it brings up into a nice sort of rule of thirds, which is always quite pleasing to the eye. Not only that, if you do your jacket up, you know, it's still, it's still on show, it's still, you know, about the rule of thirds again, anywhere between halfway and that third mark, and it's still visible. And what's the point in having a tie slide if you're not gonna be able to see it? So that's my quick little tutorial on how to wear them. So if you work in a suit, one of the main accessories you can have as a man is a nice tie slide, especially if you don't wear too much jewelry, say watches, etc., rings, I haven't got any rings on. So it's just another way to express how you feel, and if you want something truly unique, I have got my aluminium and silver tie pins. If you can't tell by the photos, I have burnished my aluminium so it shines in just the high points and the silver is oxidized so it's more of a sort of what people call a gunmetal look. It's more of a dark, dark grey almost black look which I really like. It gives a nice contrast against the actual pin itself. Or slide. Did I need to wear the suit? No, not really. 
I could have done it on a mannequin, but why not wear the suit? All look all suited and booted. But there we are. Um, so tight slides. They will be, like I say, on my Etsy shop soon, hopefully. So hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, hopefully I didn't ramble on too long for you. Hope you enjoyed the more cinematic photos I took. I'm trying a bit hard with making my videos a little bit more interesting for you guys, because listen to me ramble. Not that interesting. So hit me up on Etsy, leave any comments you have down below. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you liked it. And I shall see you in the next video. Sparks out. I had a comment from someone who watched my Sievert video, which is almost a year old, asking if I could show you sort of how the whole thing works, set up, and I thought now would be a good time just to quickly show you.